VFR error of 4,500 out of the shot. Yes, sir, we have uh, Adam set up the site. Guy, turn up for Fox shot, enter left base, runway 1 8, contact the tower 1 1 8 point 7, good day. Um, one nine or four fox shot and a star runway one eight clear to land. Alright, clear to land runway one eight, nine or four fox shot. The Rock Pro KC forty one twenty four is uh fifteen for ten Sierra. KC forty one twenty four, low rock approach, expect runway four left, the Senate pilot's discussion, maintain six thousand. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Lineup and Wait Aviation Interviews and Stories. On this episode of Lineup and Wait, we talk with SBA Aviator. SBA Aviator is an avid plane spotter from Santa Barbara, California. He has a YouTube channel where he posts his spotting videos and some other awesome content. His link will be in the description below. Green Brothers Flying is still selling t-shirts. They are $20. See our social media for details. Before we talk to today's guest, let's give some social media shoutouts. If you want to see behind the scenes of Green Brothers Flying, head over to our Facebook page, Green Brothers Flying, our Instagram at Green Brothers Flying, our Twitter at Flying underscore Green, and join our official Discord. All links will be in the description below. So YouTube, this is SBA Aviator. He is our next guest for Line Up and Wait. So SBA Aviator, welcome to the podcast. So uh, Cole, tell us about yourself and how did you get into aviation? Um, so... Since I was two, I've like had a very high interest in airplanes, and I've always wanted to be a pilot since then. And then, yeah, ever since, <laughs> ever since then, it's just been going, and it hasn't stopped. So, yep. So, what do you do in the aviation industry? You know, plane spotter, future pilot, etc. Yeah. So right now, I plane spot. I also model collect. Uh, one for hundred scale, and then um, um, I want to be a pilot, but I wanted to work like at the airport, but I'm too young right now, so that might be a future job also. So, as someone that works at the airport, uh, I would definitely recommend it. Um, there is a <laughs> lot of good experiences working at the airport. You learn a lot about aviation. You learn a lot about teamwork. Uh, you really just learn a lot about that side of the aviation industry and how, you know, working at an airport, you know, and, you know, all the airlines, you know, air traffic control, management, maintenance all come together to formulate one plan to get the airplane out safely. You know, it's just not the pilot's job. It's yeah. just not the, you know, ground crew. It's not just the dispatcher. Everybody has to do their own job to get the plane out on time and safely to its destination. So, if you have a chance to go work at the airport, highly, highly, highly recommend. Yeah. So, uh, the next question is, what are some of your favorite airports and some of your least favorite airports? Maybe some airports you want to visit in the future. Oh. Um, Los Angeles, LAX is definitely my favorite. Just because, as a plane spotter, there's so much variety. And it's not like just one or two airlines and there's like all sorts of different airplanes from regionals to heavies to like just middle of the market airplanes and it's all so um, one of my least favorite airports hmm, I'd say <laughs> that's a hard one I don't I'm not really sure if I have one I'm thinking so yeah you talk about being a plane spotter. What is the coolest l livery or livery you have gotten a picture of? Maybe your least favorite livery. Oh, um, my favorite livery that I've spotted was probably More to Love or Alaska's um, Spirit of the Islands, uh, 737. And then um, my least favorite livery now like probably 
I'd say probably spotting American isn't as special anymore because now it's like all the time. Even though I used to like always love seeing that like new tail, now it's just repetitive. <laughs> Especially as an LAX spotter when there's like 28 321s in like two hours. <laughs> I feel you. Um, so, what is your favorite and least favorite airplane in general? Oh, my favorite airplane is the 757 family, both the 200 and 300, because they are great. And I just love the 757, the looks of it, just everything about it. And then, um, my least favorite plane, I'd say... Uh, probably like the super jet, I guess. The look of it, it just, it doesn't appeal to me. Okay, yeah, you picked a uh, very, very good choice in the 757. Um, <laughs> the 757 is probably my favorite jet out there just because it's, it's just so good looking. Like, if you don't like, if you don't like the 75 on how it looks and how powerful it is, then there's just, you're not a true aviation geek. Uh, yeah, it's so versatile. Too. It is. Um, I will say. I mean, uh, I mean, this is kind of your time to shine. But I will say, right behind it is a seven eighty seven and the Embraer one seventy five. Both <laughs> both of those shits are very, very, very nice. Yes. Um, so you mentioned that you're a spotter. What kind of spotting gear do you have? Um, believe it or not, I just have a Panasonic Lumix. It's like a beginner's camera but I mean I get some good photos of it like most of the spotters have like a Canon or a Nikon which I don't but I like my camera it's pretty good alrighty um, so what advice would you give to people who want to get into spotting um, I'd say just don't be afraid to like try out new spots and areas like be unique don't just like do what everyone else is doing like Try to get yourself out there too, like whatever airport you spot at. Like, just yeah, find new spots and stuff. So, so going on with the spotter theme, uh, do you have any crazy stories when you were playing spotting? <laughs> um, not really. Besides one time when I dropped my camera, and then like now it's kind of messed up, like with the battery. <laughs> Like, sometimes the hatch opens randomly because I dropped it that one time. But it's pretty. It's it's good. <laughs> so you mentioned at the uh, beginning of this episode, you mentioned that you do some modeling uh, collection. Or rather, you do some model collection. Go, go a little bit more in depth about that. Yeah, so um, right now I have around 20 planes. And I'm currently waiting for like four more. And so I don't have an airport right now, but I'm planning on doing a 1400 version of Santa Barbara. Uh, and it will be like the second version because one of my friends that's in this Discord, uh, RA's Discord, he has the, the 1400 Santa Barbara uh, airport and it has like the actual terminal. So I've been like inspired by that. So I want to get into making my own airport. So yeah. I'm planning on doing that. It's just there, there aren't many models that I have that go to Santa Barbara. But I plan on fixing that soon. So, uh, you mentioned models and stuff. What's, uh, what's the coolest model airplane you have? Oh, um, I'd say my 1400 Colorado one because I flew on this plane in 2018 uh, from Los Angeles to Las Vegas so it has like a sentimental value to me but yeah and I just love delivery and it's the only special livery that special livery I pull them so I was very surprised when Jim and I just like made it last year and for those people that don't know Jim and I Jets is an uh, aircraft model company that makes aircraft models um, Going a little bit more in depth with this, can you explain what one four hundred is for the people who don't know what air or uh, airplane models are? Like, what's the size of that in reference to? 
Oh yeah, it's basically just sporing the car smaller than the actual airplane, the real life version. So yeah, like these planes, they go around three to five inches. So yeah, they're pretty small. But I think one four hundred is the most collective scale for airplanes, if I'm correct. If not, then it's one two hundred. But yeah. So one two hundred would be two hundred. 200 times smaller than the actual airplane. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, keep going along with this uh, model aircraft thing. What are some of the good companies to buy airplane models from, especially somebody that maybe that wants to get into it? Um, do you mean like brands? Yeah, like, like brands. Oh, NG Models is really good. Gemini's, they, they have their moments <laughs> for the most part. But yeah, NG Models has a really awesome 1400, 737 mold, and a 787 mold. Interesting. Is there any uh, final remarks you want to say before we wrap up? Uh, thank you for having me, Ryan. This was pretty cool. Oh, you're welcome.